Welcome. This video shows how to replace a bad battery powered clock motor and provides step by step instructions for removing your old motor, measuring its shaft and hands, and ordering and installing a similar replacement motor. Three or four years ago, my wife purchased this tropical clock to match her Margaritaville motif on her back patio. As you can see, it matches everything out here fine. After two years, the clock continued to work, but last year the pendulum stopped swinging. I could manually start the pendulum again, however it would only swing for a few minutes before coming to a complete stop. This year, the clock stopped working altogether. I took the clock motor apart, cleaned the battery contact points, and it still doesn't work. To make matters worse, my wife wants this exact clock. Its light blue tropical colors perfectly match our Jimmy Buffett, Margarita Bill, Changes in Latitudes, Changes in Attitudes placard below. Unfortunately, I could not find an exact replacement of this clock or its clock motor and pendulum. Using the part number from the old motor, I found a clock motor replacement on Amazon, but I could not find a pendulum replacement anywhere on the internet. I've set the clock up here in my basement workshop area. I have the new clock motor here and the workstand over there which will allow me to turn the clock over without damaging its hands. So let's set the clock on the workstand with the pendulum in place. We'll start by removing the hands. Okay, using my long nose pliers, I unscrewed the clock shaft nut and it came right off. We'll gently remove the large hand first and then the hour hand. And we have that off. Next, let's move the screw, securing the minute and hour hands to the clock shaft to our parts bin. Then, Remove the thin bolt on the clock that secures the clock motor to the clock face. Hopefully we'll be able to get that off without scratching the paint on the clock face. Okay, it came off nicely. So you can see that the clock motor is still attached to the back side of the clock face. I pried the old clock motor mechanism off with a small blade sc screwdriver because it was held in place with a double sided tape. On the left is a clock motor replacement kit that I purchased from Amazon. I ensured that its clock hands were similar in length to my old clock hands on the right. I also made certain that its clock motor shaft was long enough to accommodate the thickness of the clock face on the right. The pendulum option did not work out. I could not find any pendulum clock motors with similar sized pendulums and clock shafts. So basically we're going to epoxy the pendulum in place and replace the motor without a pendulum capability. We'll artificially attach the pendulum so it will look the same as it did before but without any movement. In addition, this non-pendulum clock motor is a standard motor which will be easy to replace two to three years down the road when the motor fails again due to corrosion from its high humidity environment. When this happens, I purchased a couple of clock motors that I have available on hand to quickly replace a bad motor. While pressing the motor against the two-sided tape, it's important to center the clock motor shaft. At this time, we'll flip this over to bolt the clock motor in place.
and appropriately tighten it down. We'll install the original black hands now and make note of the time, which is 1123. And we'll now screw the shaft nut in place. Okay, the hands are installed. Next, we'll mix up some epoxy and prepare to epoxy the pendulum in place. I have my epoxy mixed up and we'll apply some to the pendulum at this time. To ensure it stays centered throughout the drying process, I'll apply some tape here. We'll now add some additional epoxy around the edges. Okay, that completes our epoxy job, so we'll return in about 15 minutes to install the clock. We're now going to compare our patio clock with the kitchen clock, which reads 10 after 1. We'll now step out on the patio where our clock with the newly installed motor also reads 10 after 1. This concludes my battery powered clock motor replacement. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and select the YouTube bell so YouTube will notify you of all my new projects immediately after I publish them. At this time I'm moving on to my next project. You're more than welcome to follow. In addition, if you have a great project that you want to post on my YouTube channel, email me some pictures and a brief description of it. If it qualifies for the Let's Fix It Right standards to help others, I'll interview you over the phone as a guest do-it-yourselfer, produce a high-quality video, and post it on my Let's Fix It Right channel. For the year following this posting, I'll share 50% of the potential YouTube benefits with you. If you have any subject matter requests or recommendations, please contact me. All of this said, I recommend that you subscribe to my channel, follow my projects, and save a bundle of money doing it.